News from the street, 919FM.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon, I am Vanessa Thomas with the 4 o'clock news on the streets, 919 FM and online, Facebook and YouTube. In the headlines, COVID cases in schools continue to rise. The U.S. Embassy warns of visa scam. The Caribbean is becoming too hot to live in. And internationally, energy giant Shell profits nearly triple as oil prices surge. And now the news in detail. Over a one-week period, 288 positive COVID-19 cases were reported across 243 schools, representing infections confirmed in both students and staff. However, at a media conference yesterday, Health Minister Terence Dielsen could not give any official and specific information on infections spread across primary and secondary schools. So, the true number of infections since students returned to physical classes on April 4th is not known. The Health Minister said while concerns remain about COVID-19 spread in the school and other settings, schools will remain open. Meanwhile, the Minister said logistics are still being worked out to bring in vaccines which will be used to immunize children in the 5 to 11 year age group. The U.S. Embassy in Port of Spain has warned members of the public about scammers offering to secure early visa appointments. A post on the embassy's official page said it currently has no available B1, B2 tourist visa appointments for 2022. The post added that those requesting expedited appointments must follow the legitimate procedure found on its website. The embassy warns individuals to do not engage a third party offering to expedite or secure a U.S. visa as these are scams. A news report has stated that the increase in global temperatures associated with climate change is turning the Caribbean into a region that will be too hot to comfortably live in. Antonia Higa, epidemiologist uh, at the Epidemiology Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness in Belize, said the increase in global temperatures caused by climate change makes Caribbean people more susceptible to having a heat stroke or another type of cardiovascular event because it puts the body under more stress. With global temperatures of 1.5 Celsius and a projected increase to 2 degrees Celsius, climate change is exacerbating our exposure to extreme temperatures, the epidemiologist stated. He added that days that are hotter than the average seasonal temperature can cause increased levels of illness and death by compromising the body's ability to regulate its temperature. The report underscored that the heat has become too hot for the Caribbean to handle. Internationally, energy giant Shell has reported its highest ever quarterly profits as oil and gas prices surge around the world. Shell reportedly made $9.13 billion in the first three months of the year, nearly triple its $3.2 billion profit it announced for the same period last year. But the firm said pulling out of Russian oil and gas due to the Ukraine conflict had costed $3.9 billion. On Tuesday, rival BP also reported a sharp rise in profit. The invasion of Ukraine has helped oil and gas prices skyrocket, although oil prices were already rising before the Ukraine war as economies started to recover from the COVID pandemic. Russia is one of the world's major exporters, but Western nations have pledged to cut their dependency on the country for energy. And that was the 4 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube. Recapping the headlines, COVID cases in schools continue to rise. The embassy warns of visa scam. The Caribbean is becoming too hot to live in. And internationally, energy giant Shell profits nearly triple as oil prices surge. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas, Miss Aisha Wells. She's up next.